Today we'll take a look at the best, easiest and most consistent farms for every single class in WoW Classic. Hey guys, my name is Crixusate and I'm your host for the Classic WoW Curious channel. Today we will be taking a look at some of the most effective farms in the game for every class. It doesn't matter if you're a Holy Paladin or a Frost Mage, we have something for you, so stay tuned. With this list, I wanted to only include farms that were very consistent. So it is possible to farm some items in the game that can sell for hundreds if not thousands of gold. However, each of these farms are purely RNG and depends on things like if it's open world then there may be PvP or even how contested the spot is. And that's not what I'm going with for, for this farm. So is there some farms that could make you more money? Sure, but this list is for the best consistent farms, and not the best potential farms. Now, if you want more in-depth information on these farms that we talk about here today, then there'll be links in the comment section below to guide for all of these classes, because obviously I've not got all of the classes at max level, so I've not been able to test all of them out myself. But there are some very good videos out there and I've put them all for the ones that I've used in this video in the comment section below for all of you guys. So just make sure you check that out if you're wanting a guide on how to do it yourself. So the first class we're going to take a look at today will be the Mage. Now this is going to be Maradon Farm, um, but with this farm you're basically pulling the whole instance, the whole purple side at least. and falls. Um, so this will require having high HP and mana as well as a few nature potions and having your minor speed enchant on your boot. Apart from that all it'll need is practice. This is not the easiest farm to do however it can be very profitable if you get it down. This farm can be worth anywhere from 60 to 180 gold per hour even going up to 200 plus depending on how much you can sell the runs for players wanting to level while sitting doing absolutely nothing. Which I would recommend you do, because you can sell runs to people going anywhere from 4 to 8 gold per run. Which if you're boosting 4 people for an hour and you do 5 runs within the hour, that's anywhere from 80 to 160 gold per hour right there without taking into consideration any of the loot that drops which you can reserve for yourself so you can get all of the drops. So this farm is absolutely insane and I believe it's one of the best if not the best farm to do in the game when you're selling boosts to people as well. Now the next class we're going on to talk about is the Rogue. Now the farm I've chosen for the Rogue is BRD Pickpocket and Runs. Now, this farm you will have to kill a couple of bosses, however if you're in at least pre best gear then it shouldn't really be that much of a problem. The only other thing you'll need is just level up lock picking so you can get through some of the doors and gates. During this farm you will earn roughly 50 to 70 gold per hour. This farm is very chill and you don't really have to focus on it too much, as long as you get some practice on killing the bosses. But again, for the guide for how to kill the bosses, make sure you check comment section below. Now let's move on to Hunters. I've went with the DM North tribute runs here. Now with these, you can earn roughly 60 to 100 gold plus an hour. This farm requires a little bit of practice and some good pet management. However, it's nothing too, too difficult. So just have a lot of practice with it and again once you get it down it's a very consistent farm just like the rest of the farms on this list. Other things you might want is some talents. So these are going to help you out. It's not necessary but it's, it's very recommended. So these talents would be improved feign death, deterrence, endurance training from the beast mastery tree, and Hawkeye. So the next farm 
we're gonna go on is for Paladins. Now, in my opinion, DME's Lasher runs are the best for Paladins. I just recently done a video on this form actually with my mage, and it was a 10 hours of loot video. I did 10 hours of running this, so 50 runs, and I made roughly 50 gold per hour. However, I know that can be increased if done more efficiently. However, few classes a few classes are actually capable of this farm. But for the paladins, I believe it's their best farm for raw gold per hour that they can do. Just pulling the lashers and alien them down with retribution aura and consecration, there's nothing difficult about it. There's also quite a few rare drops that you have the chance of in here, so that can boost your steady amount of gold with some RNG. There's also some really good bits of gear that can drop in here as well. And also there's herbs that spawn. And I think I was getting roughly a stack of herbs per hour that I was doing it. So yeah, if you're a herbalism and do a paladin, then this is definitely a good run for you. Now, next up, let's talk about Maradon Princess runs. Now, this farm is very good for a few classes, and if you've watched any content creators for the people that play these classes, you've probably seen them doing it. It's one of the most popular farms that has been happening for quite a while, basically since Classic came out. The four classes in particular I say this is the best for would be Shaman, Druid, Priest and Warlock. Shaman is kind of a little bit more difficult to do, but Druid Priest and Warlock is definitely doable. These classes all work because of the same reason. They have dots that let them easily kill Princess, and this can be done with practice with very little gear. So you can basically start farming this from as soon as you hit level 60 really. Now, Hunters can also do this farm, however, I believe DM Tribute runs, as I said before, can earn more gold than this. So, if you're able to do them, that's where I would recommend you go do. However, if you prefer this for some reason, then it's definitely doable on a Hunter. Now, these farms are worth roughly 40 to 60 gold per hour. Now, there is ways to kill extra things in here and increase that a bit, but it's not really by too much. Now, I won't go over this four times for every class, so again, this was for shamans, druids, priests and warlocks, and if you want guides on your specific class, make sure you check the comment section below, because there will be links there. Now, the last class we have left to look over is the warrior. Now, I may be being dumb because I don't and never have played a warrior in classic. So if I am wrong, please comment down below and correct me. But I couldn't find any good instance farms for warriors to do solo. So I went with an open world farming spot. Now there's many you could do, but the spot I have chosen is the Crusader farm from the Spellbinder mobs in Western Plaguelands. Now these are ranged mobs, which means warriors and melee are just going to hit them really really hard. What is being farmed here is the Crusader Weapon Enchant. And it's one of the best enchants for melee in the game at the moment and sells anywhere between 200 and 500 gold depending on your server. I think at the time of recording this on my server, which is Feralina, it was selling for roughly 250 gold if I remember rightly. I'll put a screenshot up for you now to see what it's selling for on my server. But yeah, again, I could be wrong, there could be a dungeon farm that's just as good and they can actually do, but I personally haven't found one for them. And I did look for a while. So this is what I would recommend. Again, there will be plenty of other open world farms that may be better than this, but this is pretty consistent. The drop rate isn't too low. And I've heard of quite a few people that have grinded here and got quite a few different um, or quite a few of the patterns so try it out. Farm for every single class in the game. I hope this helps you some of you out and you can go on and make some gold from it. 
Again, I want to give a massive shout out to people that made the guides for these farms. I wouldn't have been able to do this because I can't level every single class in the game. I, just, I wish I could, I wish I could play every class in Classic, but it's just not possible. So yeah, make sure you check the comment section below again and go check out the links for the class that you play. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more content from me here at the Classic Ball Curious channel, then make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Make sure you tell me what you want to see from this channel. I'm looking to expand and do a lot more content rather than just 10 hour videos. So if there's anything in particular you guys want to see, then make sure you let us know. However, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.